There's also something in Dynamo called a polycurve, which is a line or a polycurve that is made up of multiple segments. So in this particular case, we're going to create a polycurve. So I type polycurve by points. And this is the one that we're looking for. We plug that into the create list. And that's what I get. So rather than having the one single line that I have up here, and also I should point out too that when you click on a node like this, notice how that line highlights in the geometry space. And when I click on this, that line highlights. And this, that line highlights. So whatever the node is actually producing, when you click on the node, it highlights in the geometry space. So it makes it very easy to figure out what node is controlling what geometry. But you can see here that by saying create a polycurve, it's creating three line segments, but Dynamo reads those three line segments as one continuous line in effect. Whereas this up here is just one single line segment. And so these are just examples of how you can create different types of lines. But let's take this one step further. What if I wanted to put points on some of these lines? So the lines are great, but what if I want to put points on them? Well, then there is a node called curve point at parameter. And it's this right here. So the input for this is a curve and a parameter. And it looks like this. So let's do this for the node by control points, which is this one here. So if I plug this NURBS curve into curve here, nothing happens because I haven't defined what the parameter is. The only parameter that it has is a default value of zero. So you can see it placed a point right there at zero. So if I want to place points all along this curve, I need a series of points. So let's create a code block and let's create a series. So let's start at zero, dot, dot, one, dot, dot, 20. Now this may seem a little strange because it looks as though I'm saying start at zero, end at one, and then have 20 things. So it would appear as if what I'm saying is, okay, put 20 dots between zero and one foot. But actually when you're talking about lines and surfaces and things like that, when you say zero to one, what you're saying is start at the beginning, go all the way to the end. And so it goes from zero to one, meaning beginning to end, and put 20 items along the entire curve. And so what happens when I plug that in, is you can see I've got 20 points now going along that entire line. If I was to change this one to a 0.5, and by the way, you always have to put 0.5 when you have a point number like that. So if I put 0.5, you can see that it only puts those 20 points on half of that curve. So this zero to one, zero to 0.5, zero, you know, all of that, it's basically defining a percentage of the line. So if you want it to go 100% along the way, you type in one. If I only want it to be 25% of the way, I say 0.25, and now it crunches all the 20 dots into only 25% of the total line, but I'll set that back to zero so it looks better. And then you can do the same exact thing on a poly curve because even though these are three separate straight lines, Dynamo is interpreting that as one single element. And so effectively I can basically just plug this into here and it puts the lines on that poly curve as well. And that's how you can create curves and then place points on those curves.